to the London Car Alarm Company. Today we fitted another Starline E96 on this really, really lovely Ford Focus RS Mark II. How the system works is when you leave the vehicle, you arm with the original remote control, you'll get a chirp and a flash, the, the doors will lock, and it will be protected by an immobiliser, a tilt sensor, a shock sensor, a motion sensor, and door protections. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna arm it now. But just before we arm it, I'm gonna tell you how we can arm it. We can use the original remote control, we can use a Bluetooth tag, we can arm off the door lock handle, and we can arm off an app. So I'm going to arm it now, and you're going to see the windows go up also. So arm it, deadlock it, windows are rising. We'll give it about 20 seconds so you can see it's protected, then we'll go through some test procedures. So firstly, we're going to show you shock sensor. You can see it triggering now, and you'll see it on an app. So we've got an app here, we're gonna show you it triggering. So here we've put an app on, and you can actually see it triggering. So if we now disarm it, you see the system is disarmed. Okay, so now we're gonna arm it again, just to show it's armed, through the app. And now we're gonna disarm it, And now I'm gonna arm through this tag. See armed? I'm gonna disarm it. I'm also gonna arm it through the door handles. Because it needs to see the proximity, original proximity key, so we'll arm it now. Now we're going to arm it again, but this time I'm actually going to trigger the door. So lock it, deadlock it, thank you. So now I'm going to open it and you're going to see it triggering. And I'm going to then move the tripod and you'll see that it's not going to start. Start. There you go. So I've now disarmed it. I'll bring the tag towards the vehicle so it's fully disarmed. I'm going to use the phone as the authorization tag. So now the system is disarmed. vehicle starts. Really clever, really straightforward. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the battery out of the tag. I'm going to disarm it normally. So if someone was to clone this original key, it will try and look for authorization. If it doesn't see authorization, the vehicle number one won't start and number two will start to count down. So I'm going to show you that shortly. I'm now going to arm it again deadlock it. I've taken the battery out of the tag and I'm going to turn the Bluetooth off on the phone. So now I'm just going to quickly turn off the Bluetooth so I cannot see any tags present and I'm going to disarm it and you're going to see what it's going to do. First of all it's not going to start and then it's going to slowly count down and then trigger until I turn the Bluetooth back on on the tag, i.e. on the phone or replace the battery in the tag. So I'm going to unlock it, I'm going to jump in, see so the 
vehicle won't start. The vehicle won't start. So it's not fully disarmed. I'm going to wait for it to count down now. There you go. It's counting down. Looking for an authorization tag. If it doesn't see the tag, it thinks that obviously it's being attacked, the key's being claimed, but there's no authorization. So let me just turn it back on. There you go, system is now fully disarmed. There you go. Vehicle is now up and running. Now I'm going to show you just some simple things on the app. So on the customer's phone, we've downloaded an app called Starline Key, which acts like a Bluetooth tag. So you can arm the system, disarm the system, also put it in valley mode by pushing and holding this till it goes past red, which is anti-hijack, and goes to amber. This is now in valley mode, so it doesn't have to give him the phone, doesn't have to give him the tag, and it will just arm and disarm in the normal way. There you go, no chirping, normal vehicle. When he gets it back, goes back into the app, Push and hold so it goes back to green. We have an alarm again. Any mobilization. There you go. Also, you can put it into valley mode by using the tag, and I'll show you that. So now I put the battery back in the tag, and now at the moment you'll see it's green, which means it's arming and disarming. But now I want to put it in valley mode. So I push and hold this for three seconds, thereabouts, till it starts to flash. I don't know if you can see it there, it's flashing rapidly, release. It will then go amber when I push it, you see? It's now in valley mode. So if I now arm and disarm the system, see there's no chirping. Obviously when a vehicle is back to the customer, it then enables the alarm by holding this or using the app. So holding it for about three seconds till it flashes rapidly, release, till it goes back to green. And there you go. Also, I'm just going to show you quickly on the app, just a few features. So if you now look carefully on the app, I'm going to show you obviously a few features. Door open. Door closed. Boot lid open. Boot lid closed. Want it open? So slightly to the right we have P, which means handbrake up, key means ignition on, smoke at the back means engine running. If I hit this button here and release, give you car locator, and also at the top, if you notice carefully, it's actually reading voltage of the battery. Really clever, really straightforward. Just slightly to the left, there's a picture of a SIM card. That just means that this is not a GSM system. So what I'm gonna do now, finally, now I'm just gonna show you the one last part just to protect the customer's wheels. So we're gonna jack it up and watch the alarm trigger. system is now set. So now I'm going to go and try and jack it up. There you go. You can actually see a picture of there was a picture of an incline to show that it was being jacked up. So now I've disarmed it, and finally that was just to show you that, that it had obviously jacking up tilt sensor. Hope you found this video helpful. My name's Otto, company's called London Car Alarm Company. Number to me is 028 906 0478.